fetal development month by month, baby's bones and skeletal system. Month one, the embryo develops three layers. Soon after conception, the embryo differentiates into three layers of cells. The mesoderm, or middle layer, will develop into your baby's bones, as well as her heart muscles, kidneys, and sex organs. The inner layer, called the endoderm, becomes your baby's digestive system, liver and lungs. And the ectoderm, or outer layer, develops into the nervous system, hair, skin, and eyes. Month 2. The Start of Arms and Legs Big changes are happening to your little embryo. It's starting to develop a clavicle and parts of a backbone, for starters, while the neural tube forms, the source for parts of the nervous system as well as the spine and skull. By about week six, your little bean is also sprouting arm buds as the legs follow suit. About the only thing that isn't growing is its tadpole-like tail. That's shrinking and will eventually disappear, leaving only the tailbone at the base of the spine. Month three, face, nose, fingers, and toes. During these final weeks of your first trimester, your baby's bones develop a lot. They start out as little buds and grow into recognizable arms and legs, with bendable joints and well-defined fingers and toes by about week 13. Upper limbs tend to lead the way by a few days, with lower ones following. The same way motor skills develop after your baby's born, from the top of the body down, lifting head, then pushing up, then crawling, then walking. Month 4. Moms supplying baby tons of calcium. Via the placenta, your body is now delivering calcium to your baby to help her bones harden, strengthen, and lengthen. This calcium transfer continues up until birth. She needs to absorb about 30 grams of this important mineral from you over the course of nine months to build the 300-plus bones that make up baby's skeleton. So make sure you're consuming plenty, about 1,000 milligrams or one gram of calcium a day, helps your baby's bones grow and safeguard your own, your body won't hesitate to deplete its own stores for your baby's sake, so make sure to replenish them regularly. Check the ingredients of your prenatal vitamin to see how much calcium it includes and make sure to chow down on foods rich in this important nutrient for bone development, like milk, soy milk, yogurt, cheese, canned salmon, leafy greens, and edamame, along with plenty of vitamin D, salmon, canned tuna, eggs, mushrooms, and fortified foods including cereal, milk, and orange juice to help your body absorb it. Also ask your doc whether you should take additional calcium supplements. Months 5 and 6 – Babies Moving Her Limbs These are active months for bone building. Your baby can now wiggle his limbs. You may begin to feel those first flutters of fetal movement sometime around week 18, give or take a few weeks. If you get a peek at your baby during your week 20 ultrasound, you'll now be able to see those bones he's busy building. They're finally visible. Months 7 and 8 – Transforming Cartilage to Bone How are you doing on that calcium consumption? Keep downing those dairy products because the majority of calcium your baby gets from you is transferred during the third trimester, about 250 milligrams a day. She's busy transforming cartilage to bone as well as developing muscle and building up a nice protective layer of fat. Month 9. Baby's bones remain soft. At week 36, mother-baby calcium transfer peaks, with you passing along as many as 350 milligrams of the mineral every day for the remainder of your pregnancy. That's the case even though your baby's bones are still softer than an adult's. They have to be so they can fit through the birth canal around week 40 and allow room for growth once baby is born. Your baby's skull, in particular, is designed for delivery. It's made up of several separate bony plates that can shift and compress as your baby's head makes its way toward the exit.